In this video, we are going to see how to insert a transaction in a new or pre-recorded test script. The purpose of inserting a transaction into a test script is to measure how much time or how long it's taking for a part of the test or for one test for execution or running. The syntax for inserting a transaction is services dot start transaction and you will give the transaction name and to end a transaction it's services dot end transaction and you'll give the same transaction name. So let's see how to insert a transaction on UFT. Now let's record a new test and see how to insert a transaction while we actually record a new test. Let's launch UFT. If you do not know how to record a test script, please watch our video on how to record a test script. Once the tool is open, let's create a new test script, new test create go to action 1 go to design select step generator and uh, on the step generator category select utility objects and under objects you select system util and now we have to give a target path for the application so go to start flight GUI right click on properties and copy the target path and paste it on the value field now hit on the run button run and on the keyword view make sure you have uh, selected system util and now let's start recording the script hit on the record button ok let's give the agent name and the password test mercury and before we actually hit the OK button, we need to insert a transaction to see how long it's taking to log into the flight application. So to insert a transaction, what we have to do is actually before you hit the OK button, go to Design and click on Start Transaction and give a name. Let's say trans underscore 001 underscore login and click on OK so you have actually started a transaction now hit OK on the login page on the application and once the login is over click on design and end transaction and select OK in the same way you can insert a transaction for any of the features on the application so if you want to hit uh, on the flight you can insert a transaction here or if you're searching for something else on the application you can insert a transaction so once we have ended the transaction let's go to file and exit and stopped recording the transaction. Go to file and save the script and let's say transaction. And 
Let's see the results. Okay. Click run. We are actually executing the script. And now we can see the results. Go hit last run results. It's showing us uh, if the script passed or not. It's all in green, so that means that the script passed the test. And when you click on end transaction, it's actually showing how long it took to log into the application. It says total duration was 3.4469 seconds. And each time you log in, it could be a different value. So that's how you insert a transaction uh, when you actually record a new test script. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337 one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.